Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Hunt, Senior Project Management Instructor here at Storm and Epic Live. And as always, I want to make sure that everybody has the most up-to-date information. And I've been getting a lot of questions on, so what's the deal with the changes to the PMP exam? Well, that's an excellent question because there are some changes that are coming up. But I thought I'd start first with what is not changing. And then we'll start talking about what is changing and why and some of the information that you need to know to get prepared to take your exam either before the changes or after the changes. Very first thing to talk about, and this is important, is what not, what isn't changing. Well, the Project Management Body of Knowledge, PMBOK Guide, 5th edition, is not being changed. It's not being updated at this time. Why is that important to know? Well, all the best practices, the processes, the tools and techniques, everything remains the same. Usually when there's a change to the exam, it's because there's a new iteration of the PMBOK. In this case, that's not true. And the other thing that isn't really changing is how the exam is structured. It's still 200 questions, it's still four hours long, still the same requirements to sit the exam, and it's still the most popular non-technical certification in the world. All right, so what is changing? Well, based on what's called a role delineation study, or an RDS, Project Management Institute went out and conducted a study, and what they realized is that there are different responsibilities for project managers than maybe there were five to 10 years ago. So they changed some of the responsibilities of a project manager across the life cycle. And because they've added and removed tasks, it's adapted about 25% of how questions will be answered and adjusted the percentage of questions in each domain. The exam that's going on right now, execution was 30%. They bumped that up to 31 and closing from eight down to seven. So it's adapted the types of questions that you're getting in each domain based on those roles and responsibilities that they've adapted based on what project managers need to know now. Of course, the biggest question is always, when is this going to change? Well, originally, they had set the change date for somewhere in November. But what they've done is in order to give stakeholders a time to adjust, they've moved out that date to January 11th, 2016. So if you plan on taking your PMP exam prior to that date, then you're going to go off of all the information that you currently have. Now, some people are probably asking themselves, well, I wasn't planning on taking a class or taking my exam until just before January. Will your information be updated? Absolutely. I want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information. Beginning in October, we will have all the updated information. So if you're planning on taking your exam after that January date, you'll be covered. But what about those of you that are taking it prior to and plan on attending a class in October or November? What do we do? Well, I'll make sure that I go back and forth and kind of seesaw between, dependent upon who's in the class, to make sure that you have the most accurate information for the exam that you plan to take, either prior to January 11th or after. So I'll make sure that you're covered, no worries there. Where do you go to get more information though? And that's typically another question that people ask is, where do I go? Well, you can go to PMI.org and either log in or register if you haven't yet already. Go to the certification tab, and over on the right-hand side, you'll see important exam update information. The PMP certification exam is changing, and that is going to be where you can get the most up-to-date information in order to see what the changes are, what the study was all about, where that information is. And also, down at the bottom there, you'll see that you have the handbook, you've got exam content outline information, and other guidance for the exam. This is a great location to go out to to try and get that additional information. So I hopefully answered all of your questions about the changing. This is the most up-to-date information as we have it now. Certainly we'll keep you updated if anything changes, but otherwise the new date for the PMP exam change is January 11th, 2016. Can't wait to either see you in class or find out that you passed your PMP.